He always remind me that we do this for them. Our life is not ours anymore. It's not our own. It's our kids. We do everything and everything for them. <laughs> Only you, man. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. This world lost an amazing man, an amazing father, an amazing partner, an amazing brother, an amazing son, an amazing cousin, an amazing citizen. Comes this dude right now, looking all tall. What are you gonna be so tall for? Creep it on her. I need a partner. I need somebody that can like, cause I can't, I actually do need one and I don't need one. This my man, Pat Stay. Mad shape. Pat Stay got Pat Stay in mad shape. He did, did his back legs with the calf raise. <laughs> <laughs> Same match. How long did it take 280D people to get to the <laughs> Almost though. <laughs> Come on. Yo, look how tall that shit is. <laughs> this dude kicked up here, yo. This is a high kick. <laughs> kicking, kicking Shaq in the, in the teeth. This angle sucks. I'm doing it. I don't like this bullshit. I was like, no. What the fuck is this? You're going this, man. Yeah. Angle game's killing with the shortness. He lifts your eyes, I spin him. Leg day. Leg day. That's what this is up to in a program, but I gotta stop. Stoked about that. We can uh, get to the YouTube and again, as we did and did, 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 did it. We're gonna edit that part out. <laughs> no, man, you're buffering. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was uploading. <laughs> well, because he, he can't fit, he's too strong, he's too muscular. <laughs> you ever have a problem wiping your ass? Oh, oh yes. Yeah, no, I used to have problems too when I was at my very biggest like, years ago. I actually had problems. I thought, and that was actually an accomplishment for me. I was like, yes, I can't wipe my ass. I mean, I'm big. Yeah. Then you used to have burning hemorrhoids instead of a dirty underwear. So you have blood instead of crap. Are we gonna put this in the video? I think we are. Absolutely, you got to. Probably, definitely. It looks upside down. Nah, it's because it's, yeah, this has to touch fully like that, then you can actually oh, see it. This is the most unattractive, like, everything. It, the whole pose I was in, like, the look, I have to, and if I looked down in, like, oh yeah, there's still shit. And if my girlfriend were to walk by, I just could consider her, like, just <laughs> throwing everything off. You know, be like, forget it, this is disgusting. <laughs> it is gross, isn't it? Why do we do that? <laughs> It was like it was like a T-Rex fabric. She wasn't wearing anywhere, so uh, underwear. So it was like a, it's like a fucking freaking round of like, wow, like round of round of applause, like three minute grace period of like shaking. And shit. It was, it was, I was impressed, but like a little bit like intimidated and emasculated. Just here to smile, baby. This will be one of the artist videos I do. Um, um, so bear with me getting through this, but I want to um, some of you guys know who Pat Stay is, some of you guys might not, so I'm gonna shed some light. Pat Stay is the 
world's best battle rapper. Recently, it was uh, just put out one of the best diss um, tapes out. It's on YouTube. Check it out. Yeah, diss uh, on the game. And it was pretty cool because the game, uh, you know, blocked him and whatnot. So there's a big, you know, controversy and whatnot going out being like, you know, everyone's just basically out there trying to get the game's attention. Like, yo, battle Pat's day. And the game's kind of running from him. So you can only imagine how good of a rap battler this guy is. That is a guy like the game who was poked at Eminem, but won't battle Pat. And now we'll no longer be able to get that opportunity. So game, you lucked out. Pat Stay was uh, my friend, close friend. Peste was one of the best father figures I've ever met in my life. He was someone I could look up to as a father. Being a father that has, you know, an entrepreneur and, and chasing dreams and and always questioning, you know, are we are we doing too much? Like the time we're away from our kids and stuff, like and we'd always remind each other, you know, it's necessary. I remember saying to you, Pat, I'm like, it's good that they see us traveling and working our asses off because it's something they'll be able to see and watch and learn from, and that'll be something instilled in them. Every conversation we would have, we would leave feeling like we can tackle the world, literally. Felt that. Pat was on his way. Like he, we were, We'd always chat about, like, you know, just just making it and, and just, just focusing, just being, just, you know, just trying, just, just, you know, jack of all trades, just, just, you know, try every single thing, you know, put all your talents out there and see what sticks. He ended up getting in a movie that Eminem produced, being a good role in it, like just being him. His unreasonable Rob character is on its way up to being one of the, I'm telling you, man, if you like dark humor and some, and you like, you know, you, you like family guy and, and, you know, Simpsons and, and old school Mayor of the Children. You like offside stuff, man. It was it was entertainment at its finest. And I always remember just sitting there and be like, man, he's going to get that strike. Because, you know, Pat, Pat always, he was already solidified in, in the rap game, in the rap battling game as the best already. Everyone knew that. There's no one else out there. My brother is a rap, rap battler, 100 bullets. And he's like, hey, there's, it's hard to beat. It's hard to beat Pat. You can't beat Pat. You can't. He's just too clever. He's too witty. He's too funny. And then he's a mass sized man. So he's like, when he talks over you, it's just automatic, you know, body bag. You're just done. Well, the best thing about Pat was he was somebody who was real 100% of the time. What you saw is what you got. That's it. It wasn't anything else. It was more, nothing more, nothing less. There, you wouldn't have to guess who Pat was. You have to wonder if he was who he actually says he was. And I admired that about him. He was all, he was unapologetically himself. So I'm making this video because he was taking from us way too early. And he's left, he left this earth with his two amazing kids, Calvin and Alora. His partner, Melissa. If you just scroll on his, you, on his Instagram page, just go check it out, man. Then you can see what kind of a person he was. Yeah, I think every single day, or at least at least every week, he'd be saying something about just... Living your absolute best, just doing everything you can to just, just chase your dreams. Everything. The way he would talk about his kids. And I think that, I, and, I, and, I, and I, I just think about now, I think about his kids now, 
and them living without him, and then, but the archives of stuff that their kids will, his kids will have to just have him in remembrance. A good friend of his started a GoFundMe account, and and I'm not gonna lie, I want that that goal is there. That goal for that GoFundMe is to raise enough money so those kids can have the best life they can have. Because it had, had still been here, where he was going, he was going to be able to provide that for them. Because he always remind me that we do this for them. Our life is not ours anymore. It's not our own. It's our kids. We do everything and everything for them. And I want to help and make sure they sees that through while he's not here. But I can say this. The only thing I learned the most from Pat, that all of us can learn and all of us can take home, and he say it, when his mom passed, life is too short for you to waste on things that don't matter. So whatever you're doing right now, if it's not putting into your life, don't waste your time doing it. But don't waste another day not doing the things that you should be doing or could be doing or want to do because you don't know how long you're going to be here for. Pat's 36 years old. On his way to tackling the world, always like wondering if he's doing too much or too little for questioning and and and, and that's what dream chairs do they, they we get imposter syndrome all the time because we're just we're just always questioning like are we doing enough is what am i doing what i'm what i'm doing have has purpose and is it helping others and if we can only just do that for ourselves you'll live the most abundant life you ever lived So I ask you guys to please help, and if you could please donate to the link in the description below for Pat, and do it for his family. It'll be Calvin's first day of school this week. Like real school. I say something that's really funny because we were yesterday we were just this is the last thing to say. Yesterday we were just kind of like you know going around the table and saying things that you know like there were funny moments with Pat. And there was one thing that I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say it because I'm just not. There's one thing he said to me when my daughter was born. His kid was already one at the time, and he said something about my daughter <laughs> and his son. And I looked at him like, I'm like, like only you, bro. Only you would say that. It was the funniest. It caught me off guard. It caught me off guard so much. You know, so offside and, and Pat stay fashion. But it was like, it was the perfect timing. It just rolled off his tongue. Unapologetically, just roll off his tongue, and I was on the floor in the gym laughing. We were laughing our heads off. I said, "Only you, Pat. <laughs> Only you, man. I'm gonna miss you. I'm going to miss you. This world lost an amazing man, an amazing father, an amazing partner, an amazing brother, an amazing son." An amazing cousin, an amazing citizen. So, here's to you, Pat. I will see you one day, but not yet. Not yet.